Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is... Uh, it's Thursday when I'm filming this, but when you're seeing this, it's Friday, April 30th. So it's the last day of April when you're seeing this. <laughs> but anyways, today is hashtag crochet calendar fun collab. It's kind of like a collab uh, with this calendar that I was gifted from Dina. Um, and she got it, I believe, on Amazon. But anyways, uh, we've been doing this whole year so far. <laughs> uh, each each month has a different pattern and in the back of the calendar the pattern is um printed out for you to you know use <laughs> anyways uh we've been doing projects so so far we've done january february and march uh, i made a halloween thing a christmas thing and a switch case <laughs> which i'm just realizing i don't know where that's at i misplaced that um because my switch isn't in it it's laying in there <laughs> and then april was this bee mobile right there but the pattern in the thing only comes with the bees pattern does it come with these flowers? So, um, I was a little bummed out about that. But, anyways, it doesn't matter. I procrastinated all month and didn't work on this because I've been super busy with life. <laughs> so, uh, this past few days, I just made the bee. <laughs> so, here's the pattern, uh, printout. Can't show you the pattern because it's a paper pattern. But it's just, it's just got the bee pattern on there. And it's little wings. And it does tell you how to single crochet around the hoop to make it covered in yarn. Uh, I didn't have any hoops on hand, so I didn't want to just have to run to the store and purchase a hoop. Um, so I didn't. I just made the bee. And I procrastinated all month. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get a leg up on maize, because maize is actually a bigger blank pattern. But anyways, here's my bee. I can't remember what this yellow color is. I think it's uh, Red Heart Daffodil. But I'm not sure because it was a scrap ball. And then uh, this is Red Heart Black and White. And I'll use little safety eyes. I don't know if you can see them good. I think they're the ones that have like... They're, they're dark, but they're kind of clear dark, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I did follow a pattern exactly, except his little butt. I, uh, it wanted you to do two rows of single crochet just solid, and then decrease the last time to kind of make it kind of pointy, I think, like a stinger. But I didn't want to do that because it's in yellow. I guess I could have switched to black, but um, I just didn't want to do that. So I just omitted those last two rows and just uh, closed it up. So, yeah. I think I might put a little uh, smile on him. Just to make him cuter. <laughs> but that's my bee. That's my little project. I didn't do anything creative this month because I waited too long. So, yeah. Next month's pattern. Let me switch these around. Is an afghan. Well, actually, I think it's a square. It's a square pattern that they photographed as an afghan. Yeah, I'll show you the calendar picture. It's going to be May... May is my birthday month and my son's birthday month. Jesse's birthday is on May 1st. Mine's on May 7th. <laughs> but anyways, this is the pattern for May. It's just a square, like a floral puffy square. <laughs> it looks like it's got puff stitches or bobbles. And uh, then you make as many as you want to make whatever you want. <laughs> so let me, let's get the pattern out. Look at it. All right, let's see. It's called Popcorn Garden Blanket. Uh, let's see here. It's got chain, single crochets, double crochets, half doubles, treble crochets, slip stitch, popcorn, and starting popcorn, which is where you just do like half of it. So yeah, it's just a square pattern. It tells you how to lay out the squares for that blanket. And then it has the border pattern on there. Now I might make the blanket, but I might do something creative. <laughs> uh, I was pretty creative for the first three, and then I just did the regular one for that. So who knows what I'll do. <laughs> But there it is again. I'll show it to you sideways since there's a pattern on there. I will try to link below this on Amazon if you want to get it. But, um, you know, it's already almost May. So, you know, you'd be missing months to use it as a calendar, but you can still use the patterns. <laughs> but um, there are other places you can get it too. I think last time I looked on Amazon, it was sold out there. And I think Barnes & Nobles has it and uh, Target had it. But it's just called, uh, It's a Good Day to Crochet. And it's by Willow Creek. Right here, Willow Creek. And it just says, 2021 activity calendar. It's a good day to crochet. <laughs> that reminds me of um, Grey's Anatomy. It's a good day to save lives. Or it's a beautiful day. Whatever. I can't remember this. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I might just make the blanket. Because I have a bunch of skeins of yarn. And I have a ton of off-white from that 64 cent sale. Um, I got Soft White and Erin over there, like, multiple Drumble skeins. 
So I could just use some of these pinks and greens maybe or purples and greens something i don't know to make the um flowery part and then line you know do the outside part of this the uh square <laughs> with like the soft white and then throw in some of the colors for the flowers as the border that would be pretty and then i'd have a little afghan that i could donate or sell or something um i don't know we'll just have to you'll have to come back at the end of may and see what i did with it <laughs> so i will keep that a secret all month while I'm working on it until the end of the month because that's the fun, you know, it's the being surprised by what's neat. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited. I, I really like doing this um, collab. It's kind of like a collab. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So the other participants will be linked below and I got their list right here. So Dina at Dina's Homespun Fun is the one who's hosting it and she's pretty sure she's the one who purchased the calendar for the rest of us. I know she bought mine. But also Pamela's Adoring Crochet is doing it. Charmed Granny Crochet is doing it. Canadian Crocheter is doing it. And she's not doing special videos for it. She's just kind of mixing it in with her regular videos. And occasionally Cinnamon Stitches is doing it. Um, you know, she's a very busy person, I'm sure. So, um, I think she just put out one, though, recently. I think I remember seeing her be one. Because I think she tagged me in it. <laughs> but, um, because, you know, it pops up and tells you when you got mentioned. But, um, yeah. So, those are the people who are, like, officially doing it. And I know a lot of other people purchased the calendar back in the beginning when we were all talking about it and they're doing it you know also just, that's cool <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here do my little bee yeah i think i'll put a smile on there because it just looks friendlier with a little smile but i'm gonna put this in my bag and yeah so i'm gonna try to figure out what colors i want to use i got a lot of blues too though i don't know it'll be part of the fun uh trying to figure out what colors i want to use for it i don't know I could go and make like a Christmas one or something. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop out here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.